All right, anyone else that would like to speak in favor of this request, please come forward and state your name and address, please. Uh, my name is Dr. Michael Knoll. I'm a little bit in an awkward situation. I'll explain this uh, in just a second, if you don't mind. Um, I'm actually neither for nor against, nor my colleagues are neither for nor against the project, but since uh, we were essentially mentioned earlier that twice, I think it would be appropriate if I make a few comments that the uh, commissioners and you, Chairman uh, Slaughter, have the opportunity to can take that into consideration. Uh, there can be no doubt that uh, when you're looking at the uh, at the project that there are certainly economic benefits for it, for the region in general. Uh, that's not part of the discussion I'd like to have. I've also had, indeed, the, kind of the opportunity to speak with Mr. Curry about the project in order to highlight some of the uh, issues we have in a certain sense. And it's uh, certainly uh, true, and that was one of the uh, exchanges we had, that matters relating to the geotechnical conditions of the site may not be re relevant for the zoning process itself as we are discussing this currently, but it is important to keep in mind that the geotechnical conditions ultimately determine what should or should not be done in the area regardless of the zoning. And that's why I'm actually trying to speak up now sort of in favor for it instead of being on the next slot that would be against it. That's not the point why I'm here today. Uh, my colleagues and I looked at the environmental assessment which has, which has been available at the public library uh, and have uh, poured over the report and came to the conclusion that we have a number of questions that we would like to have answered in, in order to ensure, and I'm sure this is the same interest that the developer ultimately has too, uh, the safety of the project as we are perhaps moving forward with this. Uh, we were trying to receive a copy of the geotechnical analysis, which is actually mentioned on page 413 of the environmental assessment, if you would like to check this out later on, to perhaps find some of the answers as the re environmental assessment itself I was not uh, going into the detail that we would like to have, knowing a bit about cost topography, sinkholes, and the kinds of uh, geotechnical conditions that may exist or may not exist in the area. Uh, why do we have problems to get the report? On one hand, uh, there was a public announcement in the Valdosta Daily Times that actually was uh, put into the VDT, I believe, by the, uh, by the Air Force Civil Engineering Corps, or FCAG, uh, from Texas. I had actually the wrong phone number listed on it, I tried to call several times, and then we found out with the help of uh, folks from Moody Air Force Base that there was another phone number that needed to be called. Eventually, I was able to reach Mr. Richmond in Texas, and it was only yesterday. And uh, I have requested a copy of the geotechnical analysis so that we could look at it. At the same time, of course, I uh, would have liked, or we would have liked to perhaps take a look at a copy of this analysis that uh, most likely Mr. Beattie has, but of course, or uh, in general, the, the, uh, the client of Mr. Curry has, who of course would like to develop this um, parcel for obvious reasons. But uh, since we're talking about a private entity, uh, uh, they're not subject to the Georgia Open Records Act, basically, and therefore we have not had access to it yet. But let me be clear about a couple of things first before I uh, try to also include another piece of information since uh, the Air Force came up a little bit earlier and the connection of this whole discussion. Again, let's be clear. Uh, we are convinced that it is not the intention of Mr. Beattie or anyone else to build houses in a geologically unstable area that wouldn't make any sense. Nobody wants to do those sort of things. But sometimes you find yourself in a position that you see that sinkholes develop in places where you did not expect or anticipate them, perhaps. Today, as well as the Daily Times had one more tragic example of that displayed in it. It doesn't have to be that way. Usually it isn't this way, but it's a possibility. So unfortunately, from our uh, evaluation too many times, uh, it, uh, it, the uh, geophysical analysis that is important, particularly in areas that are known for sinkholes, uh, is underestimated. Uh, please note that actually our program goes to not too far away from this particular area of interest, southeast of that direction with Lacucci. Uh, to teach our students about such things as karst topography and sinkholes, so we're slightly familiar with some of the larger area. Uh, another thing I need to mention here is that this is my understanding actually at Moody Air Force Base and had a conversation there on behalf of the base wing commander who is relatively new uh, to Moody Air Force Base was uh, attempting to visit the project site and uh, we were asked to perhaps come with them and uh, render an opinion on it quickly because we do know that time is of the essence but perhaps because of, and this is a natural human instinct, I would think, because there is not yet the kind of communication that we would like to establish, we haven't been given, or Moody Air Force Base for that matter, and the environmental section of Moody has not been given actually uh, the permission at this point to visit the site. 
um, and, and I understand a, a nervosity to a degree. Uh, whatever decision may be tonight, the one thing I wanted to make clear is, uh, rezoned or not, and again, we have no opinion on the matter, it's important to state that before any development happens, that we uh, do have or do take the opportunity to do a thorough geophysical analysis of the area so that we indeed can confirm perhaps or underline some issues perhaps with what we, what we currently have in front of us. These kinds of analysis do not take as long as it may seem. We have a GPR unit in our department and then it may be done within one or two weeks perhaps. And since uh, end of September is an important date, I would like to um, suggest that we um, work on this together as soon as possible if that is something that uh, Mr. Kerr and his clients are interested in. Either way, we're neither for nor against it. We'd like to point out there are issues and we would like to help to clarify the questions that we still have. That's all this boils down to. Thank you. Okay. Any, any questions for Mr. Bowe? I do. Real Dr. Noel, I just want to clarify your, your purpose for speaking. Is it that you are concerned that there are in your words, geotechnical issues, or are you merely offering your services or both? What's, what's the, the purpose? The latter seems almost a little bit unethical in a certain sense, but I know what you're saying. But okay. yes, we are generally speaking concerned about the fact that because of what we saw in the environmental analysis environment, in, that, uh, for example, when you are going into such territories, uh, it seems to be uh, suggested in the report that some soil probes, of course, have been taken in order to determine some of the issues that may be relating to sinkholes. But in many ways, that leaves out a lot of things that you don't really know about. It's sort of like sampling um, um, the, the, the uh, shingles and the roof on your house in order to determine whether or not your foundation is uh, sound. There's some things missing. There are, there are certain uh, questions that are open. And because this is indeed an important development, and this might be a wonderful site for, uh, for those working for or with Moody Air Force Base, it seems important to us uh, to make sure that we're doing the right thing. And again, this has nothing to do with the rezoning quest itself. It might have to be modified a bit, maybe not at all, maybe more. We don't know. That's our problem. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you.